Hi, kindergarten friends. It's Mrs. Conlin. I'm here to read you a story about Harvey. The story is called Harvey Has a Safe Body. Mrs. Finney's first grade class was a very happy class and a safe place to be until Harvey, a new student, joined the class. Harvey really wanted to make new friends at his new school, but there was one big problem. Harvey couldn't keep his hands to himself. At morning meeting, Harvey kept grabbing books off the bookshelf while the students were taking turns greeting each other. He was distracting everyone. At lunch, Harvey thought Jose's lunch looked delicious, so he took his chips and cookies right off his tray. In PE class, Harvey was a little too excited to play basketball. He was a ball hog and wouldn't pass the ball to anyone else. Then when Heidi tried to steal the ball, Harvey pushed her out of the way. At recess, Harvey wanted to turn on the slide, but didn't want to wait in line like everyone else. So he shoved his way up to the front of the line and said, my turn, guys. <clears throat> Harvey's classmates and teachers had had enough. They were tired of being pushed and shoved. Mrs. Finney told Harvey that he needed to stay after school with her today to learn more about how to have a safe body. She decided to teach the whole class about how to respect personal space. Mrs. Finney asked Harvey to stand with his arms straight out by his sides. She asked Joe to put a hula hoop around his waist. Then she said that the space we take up with our arms straight out and inside of our hula hoop is called our personal space. That's the amount of room we need to feel safe, comfortable, and happy. With our family and friends, we may not need as much personal space. But sometimes when others get too close, it makes us feel uncomfortable nervous and even unsafe. We feel squished and crowded. It's okay to say, please stay in your own personal space if we feel that someone is too close. Mrs. Finney also taught us that keeping our keeping a safe body helps others feel comfortable, cared for, and loved. She explained that our hands are not for pushing, shoving, hitting, or hurting. Instead, safe hands are for helping. Safe hands are for loving. Safe hands are for greeting. Safe hands are for learning. Safe hands are for cheering. Safe hands are for playing. Harvey learned a very important lesson about personal space and keeping a safe body. He promised he would respect his classmates, personal space, and keep his hands to himself. The next day at recess, Harvey waited his turn to go down the slide. Good job, Harvey. Look at there he is waiting his turn. In class, Harvey, when he wanted to borrow some crayons from his friends, he asked in a kind and respectful way. Hey, Marcus, can I borrow your crayons? Sure, Harvey. Thanks for asking. In music class, Harvey took turns with the instruments and made sure 
everyone had a chance to play. He stayed in one spot, did not run around the music room. Harvey was on his way to making lots of new friends and making his classroom a safer and happier place to be. Mrs. Finney was so proud of him that she gave him a gold star for behavior and the whole class cheered. Way to go, Harvey, for learning to have a safe body. Now I want you to think, how can you have a safe body here at school? Think, how can I respect my own personal space and the personal space of my classmates? Together, we can follow the Longfellow Larks and be responsible, respectful, and kind. The end.